It's the Western Conference on display featuring the Minnesota Timberwolves. Thanks for tuning in, everyone, to this broadcast of NBA basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan. And with me today, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Let's take a look at the Rockets. They're facing... Here's Rubio. 11 points for him in that last game against Phoenix. And he was just lurking defensively in that game, Kevin. Four steals during that ball game. And Zhang kicks to Young. Timberwolves passing it around. Howard with the steal. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. A reason no one. Ricky Rubio at 6'4 with great size for the point guard position. Long arms, a great nose for the ball, too. One of the best rebounding point guards in the league. Ramirez for Ricky Rubio. Timberwolves trailed by three. Here's G. 14 points from him the last game against Phoenix. Here's Dang. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. And the Rockets making a change here. Smith has checked in. Wiggins has checked in for Minnesota. Gorgi Jang getting an opportunity late last season with Nikola Pekovic's ankle issues, and the rookie responded as many people thought he would. He was just opportunity away from showing that he could compete at the NBA level. Pass to Beverly. Shot clock at five. Steps back and fires. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Houston making some changes. Monte Yunus comes in for Terrence Jones. And it's Cannon in for Patrick Beverly. And then for Minnesota. Nikola Pekovic is checked in for Jan. Payne comes in for Young. And Gary Neal subbed in for Muhammad. And that one's good by G. And Jang last season became only the fourth rookie in the last 20 years to put up a 20 point, 20 rebound game. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Kevin, he's a terrific rebounder, good shot blocker. I remember from his days at Louisville. Uh, and for the 21st pick in the draft, you got to think that the Wolves are excited about his potential. Ana Yunus dishes to Cannon, puts up the baby hook, and it doesn't even draw iron. You can see how much the defense respects him. I mean, they were all over him on that look. And the basket good. Boy, he made a nice little bounce pass there. We call that the pocket pass, and he did it well. For the Houston Rockets, they come in off the loss to the Raptors. And, you know, coming down the stretch in that game, they didn't have all the guys they would have liked on the floor because of the foul trouble they were in. And as a result, Steve, they had to back down a little bit so they wouldn't get themselves into even more foul trouble. There's 49 seconds left in the first quarter. On the wing, Brewer. Here's Kanan. He is guarded by Ramirez. Here's Kanan. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Offensive rebound. Timberwolves leading by four. They've definitely hit that groove offensively. They sure have, guys. I mean, really aggressive. And I like that posture and mindset. Stay aggressive. Yeah. Steve, you like groove, don't you? I do. I love groove, Kevin. And I love the attack mode this team is in, too. I mean, they're really getting into the paint. They're getting whatever they want offensively. There's 14 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's G, right now averaging seven points a game. Heaves it up. Rejected by Ramirez. The offense coming free and easy as we wrap up the first quarter. Minnesota on top, up by four. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. Big group substitution here. Howard's checked in for Monte Yunus. Jones comes in for Smith. Corey Brewer's checked in for Trevor Ariza. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Cannon. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Gorky Dang's checked in for Nikola Pekovic. Young comes in for Payne. Muhammad, he's checked in for Wiggins. And G's subbed in for Ricky Rubio. And so in the game for the Timberwolves. Martin out on the wing with Muhammad. Young is out there with Jang. And it's Ramirez in at the one. 
Well, the Rockets, wouldn't you say, are really to be commended, Clark, for rebuilding this team without tearing it down to the studs or, or tanking, if you will. Yeah, absolutely, Kevin. I mean, they've improved dramatically with Harden and Howard. But this is a team that's held the winning record in the West now for eight straight seasons. Mm. That's pretty impressive. It is. Minnesota's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter, just two of six from long range. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Well, Kevin, we all know James Harden, one of the league's leading scorers at the free throw line. Coach McHale has said when he's able to play downhill before the defense gets set, he's just a handful. He's a great finisher, a great free throw shooter, and he's got a knack for getting fouled. Guys, Harden is fast, strong, and so sneaky with that sweep through move. He lives at the line doors. Thanks. Isaiah Cannon, he's checked in for the Rockets. The Timberwolves also with the sub. Gary Neal's checked in for Kevin Martin. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the Timberwolves? Boy, their frenetic defense has really been impressive, putting a lot of pressure on ball handlers and turning them over. They've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight, too. Here's Ramirez, and he gets it to go. G's got his second bucket of the night. Nice soft touch to drop that one in. Pockets trail by five. 102 left in the first half. Harden the pass to Kanan. Houston moving it around. And it's Jones. That's time on the assist by Cannon. The defense left him just a little window to get through, and he just ducked in for the layup. Terrific job. Here's Ramirez, and again it's Minnesota converting. Tell you what, since the end of the first quarter, he has really come alive. Rockets have gone 7-16, shooting just under 50% here.